In this video, I'll demonstrate how to apply a parametric constraint in OpenRoads Designer. What a parametric constraint allows you to do is to override the template geometry. So to display the template geometry, what I want to do in this cross-section view is show the thickness of the sub-base layer here. So to do this, I will right-click and I'll go to Edit Station. And I just want to view the thickness of this sub-base layer. So I want to double-click on this point. And if you know, notice, the vertical constraint has a value of point, negative 0.458 feet. And it has a label of pavement for depth. So in applying this parametric constraint, I want to override this depth that we have defined in our template. So to apply the parametric constraint, uh, I want to go to the Open Roads Modeling Workflow and under Corridors and Edit, I will click on the Create Parametric Constraint icon and it prompts me to locate the corridor. So I'll data point on the corridor and I want to apply this at the start of our corridor and I'll click Alt to go to the end of the corridor. Now for the constraint label, um, this, is, this is the constraint label that we saw in our template. And I would just want to click on pavement for depth. And I would data point to accept that. And our start value. So this is the value that is defined in our template. And I want to override this. So just for visualization, I will give it a depth of one foot for the start value and one foot for the end value. Data point to accept those entries. And the parametric constraint has been applied. Now to view this, I will scroll through the corridor. And if you'll see these green, um, these green squares, these indicate that the parametric constraint has been applied. And you'll notice that the thickness of the sub-base layer is now one foot.